It was first at noon. A woman is being remembered after investigators say her husband stabbed her to death. They say it happened as police rushed into the apartment to try to stop the attack. Fox Wells' Tyler Dumont was there as that man faced a judge for the first time in the Clark County Courthouse. Murder suspect Robert Burdick will remain behind bars after a judge deemed him a threat to public safety and held him on $2 million bail. The 56-year-old walked into court this morning wearing a suicide smock on a charge of first-degree murder domestic violence. He's accused of committing a terrible crime, stabbing and killing his own wife, Linda. Police say it happened early yesterday at their third-floor apartment on West Lookout Ridge Drive in Washougal. Officers say they were called there by Robert Burdick himself, telling a 911 dispatcher that he had his wife hostage with butcher knives and asking for police to come shoot him. Police say Linda Burdick's mother also called 911 after Linda called her saying Robert Burdick had her hostage in a bedroom with knives. When police arrived, they say they saw his wife at a window screaming for help while her husband came up to her with a knife. At that point, cops said both appeared to be unhurt. But by the time officers broke down a door and got inside the apartment, they say Robert Burdick was found covered in blood and with a stab wound. And Linda Burdick was unconscious in a bedroom with multiple stab wounds to the arm, chest and neck. They rushed her to the hospital where she went into surgery but later died. In court today, prosecutors said Burdick stabbed his wife while police were on the scene. Court documents stated that Robert Burdick also unsolicitedly asked a detective if he was being arrested for attempted murder. Now, there was some of Linda Burdick's family in the courtroom today. At this point, they're too emotional to speak publicly. However, one family member did tell me that, quote, she was beautiful. Meanwhile, Robert Burdick is due back in court for an arraignment next Wednesday. Reporting outside Clark County Court, Tyler Dumont, Fox 12 Oregon.